Welcome back, Just Clark. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd. I'm Zach Griffin. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weather after school today will be 64 degrees and with thunderstorms, and tomorrow morning at the bus stop will be 62 degrees and cloudy. Lunch today, we'll have a sloppy joe sandwich and general sauce chicken that comes with brown rice, broccoli, and your choice of fruit. If you don't want any of those, you can always have a yogurt and cheese plate or a chef salad. Tomorrow's lunch, we'll have pizza and a hot ham and cheese sandwich that comes with corn, carrots, and your choice of fruit. If you don't want any of those, you can always have a PB&J Incrustable or a chef salad. February is Black History Month. Each day here in the morning news, we'll honor a black author. Today's author is Jason Reynolds. Jason Reynolds is a number one New York Times best-selling author of more than a dozen books for young people. He has received the Newbery Honor, a Prince Honor, a NAACP Image Award, and multiple Coretta Scott King Honors. He is also the current ambassador for Young People's Literature. Born in Washington, D.C., Reynolds found inspiration in rap to begin writing poetry at nine years old. He focused on poetry for the next 20 years, and in 2014, he published his first novel. We have several of his books here in our library. Check one out today. Jesse Clark, did you know that in Kentucky, one in six people are unsure about whether they'll get food for their next meal? God's Pantry Food Bank serves 50 counties in central East and eastern Kentucky. In partnership with more than 450 food pantries and meal programs starting next week, Jesse Clark students and staff will be participating in a canned food drive to help families in need. The canned food drive will run from February 28th until March 17th. We want full participation because we have some really cool initiatives in store for the grade level that brings the most cans. Here's a video about God's Pantry. Years ago. Today, we're serving 50 counties across central and eastern Kentucky, 16,000 square miles. Every day, we have 14 trucks on the road with professional drivers who, over the course of a year, travel about 225,000 miles, delivering 40 million pounds of food across central and eastern Kentucky. I've been here for 11 years, so I do a lot of the longer routes. When I get in the truck in the mornings, I tend to wipe down everything that I touch. For God's Pantry Food Bank, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused us to take a step back and change the way that we do business. We're making sure that we are providing food and grocery product in a very safe and very healthy way relative to social distancing. We've seen an increase in volume of 35% across the network. Some counties, close to 80% increase. The amount of food that we're moving today is dramatically higher than at any time in our history. There's about 40% um, of people in Scott County that are considered food insecure, that were above that 130 poverty guideline, um, but it's been amplified with this virus. When I go out to some of these stops, I've noticed that the need has increased and they're more interested in how much food is on the truck. And they're all always happy to see me. They want to run up and hug me, a few of them, and that's something that we're trying to work on. We always see new faces coming into the Amen House, but in March, we definitely saw an increase in that. The entire month, we saw 97 new families show up here and lean on us for food. During this difficult time, it's important to take a step back and remember how God's Pantry Food Bank started. One person making a difference, the power of one. One donor making a small contribution. One company donating a truckload of food who have never donated before. That is an easy and secure way to help God's Pantry Food Bank do the work that we do every day.
Wow, that was very interesting. Thank you, God's Pantry. Come celebrate National FFA Week with us today after school. Our monthly FFA meeting will start today at General Dismissal and end at 5 p.m. We will meet in Miss Bentley's room, room 608 in the portables. Hope to see you there. In honor of National FFA Week, here's a fact from Miss Bentley's class about agricultural education in America. To raise beef, cattle account for 29% of American farms. Very interesting. Thank you, Miss Bentley. Check tryouts are in less than a month. If you are interested in trying out for the Boys and Girls track team this year, please sign up on Mr. Evans' door at room 508. Also on the door, you can pick up an information sheet in the green folder. That lets you know which day you should try out. If you've already signed up to try out, please check with Coach Evans to see if your KHSAA physical is up to date and on file. Please start conditioning before tryouts so that running, throwing, and jumping we do in tryouts are not a shock to your body. Tryouts are on March 7th for 8th graders and March 8th for 7th and 8th graders. Hope to see you there. Boys basketball playoff are this week. Both games are away games. Tonight, our B team plays at Lee's Town and tomorrow, our A team plays at Lee's Town. Both start at 5.30 p.m. Let's make the drive across town and root on our Eagles. Go Eagles! There are no intramurals this week. Intramural Frisbee will begin on Monday and will be played on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7.45 a.m. See you soon, Jessica Clark. Students, please stand. Teachers, please check student dress code and student Chromebook. At this time, students, please make sure that your phone is off and in your backpack. Phones are not to be carried in your pocket. They are to be in your backpack and on silent. Again, students, please check your phone is off and does not disrupt your classes today. And remember, here at Justin Clark, we value self, value others, and value learning. Every person, every day. Have a great day, Justin Clark, and happy National Walk the Dog Day.